behind me is our beam bed for the beam and block flooring that we produce. Uh, the beam and block flooring is, is our flooring system that's easy to use and quick to install. It's uh, structurally sound. Uh, the re how we get the strength into the beams is that we use a indented steel wire, five millimeters uh, in diameter, which is equivalent to a Y16. So this is the five millimeter uh, indented steel wire that we use for the precast beams. This now will be fed through the, the beam bed and is put under, and then is tensioned and stretched to before we put the concrete in. The reason that the wire is pre-tensioned is that it, it assists with the load bearing capacity of the beams. It um, creates a tension within the beam, which gives us the concrete, but not the concrete beam is rigidity that it requires. So these are the dividers. These actually set, uh, determine the length of the beams once we, once we place them in the, in the mold. Uh, this is the mold itself. Uh, the mold is, is we use mold release oil so it allows for the easy removal of the concrete and this is where the beams are made. So these are the dividers that are in, in place. This is now where the wire will be fed through the, through the, the holes in to, for tensioning on the bed. And this is the roll of cable now ready for installation. When we cast for a client, we ask for their drawings. So from the drawings now, we get the lengths that we require for each room. So when we cast now, you can see that the, the beams that we've casted are of different lengths. Now, obviously, they, these will now be used in different parts of the, of the house. Once we demold, we actually indicate on the, on the beam itself, we'll actually indicate the length of the beam. And once we supply this to the site, this will give you the, the beam position for the placement of the beam in the correct place on the, in the house. Everything that we produce is tested. We send it for testing. We have a Bamburi beside us, they have a laboratory there. So we send all of our concrete product is tested at Bamburi because we have to ensure that we're getting the strengths that we need. One of the advantages of using a precast floor is that all the curing is done in our yard in advance. This saves you a tremendous amount of time on site. As soon as you lay our floor on your site, you are able to carry on with the next, the next level of the build. Even when it comes to the stacking of our blocks, we stack per, per production. So in the event that there's a failure, then we know which, which area now not to, not to, not to sell. Uh, but everything, is, everything we do is, is tested. We cure our blocks for 28 days. That time you save on site as the, our floor is ready to install as soon as it arrives on your site. These are the beams now that have been produced from the beam bed. They're set outside here now and they're curing now for 14 days before we deliver them to the client. Um, this is what we call a T-beam. This is now uh, 150 millimeters deep and this now provides us with the strength that we need for our floor. The spans now that we can we, we cast this to depend on the dimensions of your house, but of course there's limitations in which we can we, on the length in which we produce. All our floors are engineered for to be fit for purpose. So all of the loading on the floors is is calculated, whether it be residential or commercial, the loading is calculated and the length of the spans is determined by the loading. Uh, the configuration of the beams changes depending on the load that we require. If we have a heavy load, sometimes we'll add a second beam uh, to, to provide us additional strength. So these are our blocks that we produce in the yard. So this is our hollow pot block and this is our solid block. Both reach the same standards and are of the same, uh, of the same strength and the same dimensions. The blocks that we produce are structural and they become part of the floor. They're an integral part of the floor. So here we have uh, just a small demonstration of our beam and block floor in situ. Uh, as you can see, the, the T shape now lends itself to the, the resting support for the blocks. The limitation on any floor is the span. When it comes to services, the services are simply laid on top of these floors. So uh, your conduit is laid on the surface and, a, and to finish the floor is a, a screed, a one to three mix of sand, a sand, sand cement screed. And that's it, your floor is complete. If you were to build it yourself, you have to 
you have to buy the aggregates, you have to get the cement, you have to get the sand, you have to find the labor, you need your own mix design, your mix design needs to be tested, you, you have all the effort and the hassle of, of getting the floor ready. When you're actually going for the actual installation of the floor, then you're also using shuttering. You've got all the cost of that. You've got the cost of the hire of the cement mixers. You've got the cost of the, the uh, poker vibrators. You've got a lot of costs that are involved in actually producing the floor. When you come to someone like us who does precast flooring, all that hassle is taken away from you. You prepare the walls, you build the walls, you, or the columns and beams, and this floor simply comes, comes and is laid on top of it. In terms of price, we also save you money. Um, this floor of ours doesn't, does not get stolen. Um, so there's, a th there's, there's many aspects to it where, in terms of how we save you money. Um, there's, there's, there's the storage, there's the installation, there's the labor. We don't, you don't need as much labor on, on, you can use your existing labor that's actually already on site. They, they're normally enough to now to come and lay this floor. Um, plus you don't need any skilled labor in this. Unskilled labor is, is all you need. Although we do insist that there's one person on site who can actually read a drawing because that's, that's important um, for the proper installation of the floor.